Weather changes can wreak havoc on your plants, and that's what we're talking about this morning, about keeping the color in your pansies. That's exactly there, right? right. You know, because, you know, for a while we were like in a drought time. I mean, mm -hmm. not drought, but, you know, it's just great weather. Now we're kind of getting the monsoon. It's cold outside. Mm -hmm. And so the pansies, there comes a period where they get this fungus called gray mold, which is not a good thing Dude. because it'll get on the blooms, and then they droop. They look like a moldy piece of bread. Wow. And then that will transpose to other blooms. So really one thing, now you can see these. These right that I have right here are popping. They don't have anything wrong with them. Mm -hmm. They've been protected out of that cold, harsh weather. I mean, they were on the front porch, my front porch, uh -huh. and, and covered <laughs> so that the water, the, you know, the rainwater wasn't affected them much. But this one's been outside, and you can tell it's got Look a lot that. more droopiness to it. And These it's, are like shriveled up. Yeah, right over they're here. shriveled up. And, and yeah. so here's the big thing go through, and you, and you go all the way back, follow the stem back, mm -hmm. and you pinch that off because if How you much? don't. That's a, that's a seed pod, and that's going to go to, those seeds are going to bust open, and they're going to fall, but you're not going to get more big pansies. You're going to have little tiny pansies. That's not good. It takes a lot of energy away from the plant. Okay, so let me do one. How far should I pinch it go now? Go all the way back. Do that one right there. Okay. It's, it's going to be going, but just, yeah, just go Down through. here? Yeah, even further. But that's good. There that you good? go. Okay. Because if you don't, that stem eventually still has to decay before the plant will produce more blooms. Okay. So you're just speeding up the process. And if okay. you've got gray mold, it's, yeah. it's, yeah, it's good to go through and deadhead them. And it seems tedious, but it really works. We've got a, a graystone property, and, and the people are always deadheading, and it always looks good. Wow. So if you don't always deadhead, then it kind of resembles that. But my wife's been deadheading these a lot mm -hmm. on the front porch, and they look great. Mm -hmm. But there is a, a fungicide you can use. A lot of the uh, uh, Lowe's and Home Depot independent garden centers will have that. For, make sure it's labeled for gray mold. Make mm -hmm. sure it's safe for pansies and feeding you need to, you need to feed your pansies right now so i always recommend the turkey poop fertilizer i love the hash to grow fertilizer it's uh -huh. a liquid and if you need blooms quickly you might could use something synthetically mm -hmm. but it, now if the temperatures are 45 it's not really going to take up that fertilizer too much so don't get crazy on feeding and trying to push them that's why we like turkey poop it doesn't push feeds the soil the take home today is don't get crazy out there yeah don't get crazy okay. deadhead that's a good thing <laughs> okay. now deadhead. i'm looking at this spike right this is a dracaena spike and, and it's great for the summertime but it's not too good a fan of the cold weather but again protected It'll go through the wintertime. Now, see, I see a little brown spot on here. Do you also prune that? I would. You, you, you know, you tear that it's, off? it's broke right oh. here, so I follow it all the way back to the bottom and just okay. make a cut. Because okay. if you cut right there, it's going to be brown on the edge. Okay, kind of so make a clean cut yeah, there. Make a clean cut. You are awesome. You're quite the gardener. Sir. Well, I'm telling you, Jimmy Rocket from Bug Juice Gardens, you're the, the awesome one. Oh, stop. stop. Thank you so much okay, for coming you. by, you're as great. always. <laughs> you're watching Fox 6 WBRC. We'll be right back.